Yo, what's good YouTube? I am back with another reaction video. We got Bob Ryan on Prime, Larry Bird, and Kevin McHale in 2021. 2022, could they play today? And you know what I'm going to say, of course they can play today. But we ain't going to waste no time, y'all. Let's get straight into this video. Let's get straight into it. Deeply appreciate y'all too, man. But uh, yeah, let's get straight into it. What Larry didn't do, Bob, was play in the age of social media. And neither did Wayne Gretzky, neither did Derek Jeter. Right. All those guys that I think, again, stayed about as humble as, as they could. But, but again, it's just so much tougher to do it oh, now. Gosh. I mean, again, I go back to Kevin Durant sparring with, with fans. And, and again, I like part of it that he's engaging with fans, but it's such a different time now. And I think for Steph to be as beloved as he is, and I, I don't know how many people, I mean, you never hear a bad word about him. I'll walk in the locker room, and I'm, I'm not going as a member of the media tonight, but anytime I walk in the, in the locker room, first thing, Steph's, hey, Jeff, how you doing? How's the family? Like, and it's not fake. No, it's I, not fake. I, I, I think with Durant, as he's devolved into this strange person if, at times, you know, that uh, it's hurt his overall approval, appreciation of fans who ought to know how good he is. He is so damn good. You oh, know, he's and, awesome. But he's, he's not, not going to. No longer a question whether he's a top. There's no longer a question whether he's a top ten player. The only question is whether he's a top five player of all yeah. time. So if, if he wins another, if he wins another one, I think he's probably going to win another one to get in that top five conversation. Yeah, but I mean, he's, he's, not he's, he's I'm, I'm, look, uh, uh, he's he's threatening Larry. That's dumb. You know, now, who's saying this? You want me to go grab one of the 15 Larry Bird books I got behind me? I'm, I'm, I'm Larry's biggest fan, but I'm going to be honest. He's threatening Larry. Uh, speaking of Larry, uh, I can't remember, Bob, if you – it was on Twitter. Did, I thought you said something on Twitter about um, – if, if Larry was playing today, would he be the three-point king? Because he what? Like, what do you average, like five threes a game? Something yeah, like that? at the most. No, the, the world was different. Uh, let me just, all right, let's take a 20 second. The answer is, if you told him today, you got to, you, you, I want you to take 10 or 12, you know, or eight or nine or 10. Oh, no, he'll do it, you know. Now, it, he wasn't as capable of, uh, as Steph Curry is of quick, getting that shot at will, you know, and getting as many uncontested ones as you'd like to have, you know. Okay, fine. But you know, he thrived in this game with, with, in that regard. There was no question. None. There's no ways he was. Um, let me just say how far we've come, guys. This is this is uh, just so people put this in perspective. First of all, let's establish this. The rule was introduced into the NBA in 1979. So, if you are 50 years old, as you listen to this, if you are 50, that's me. That's me, eight, Bob. You were eight years old when that rule came into existence. It's all you know. You do not have a firm recollection of the pre three basketball game and how it flowed, you know, and how it was conducted. That's all. Okay. So this is what you know. I understand that. Now, so, hey, start with that. In 1979-80, they introduced the three-point shot, which had been a staple of the ABA from its existence in 66. And so into the league came a lot of ABA guys, you know, from the merger. There were right. that, And the first three-point king, uh, or the first three-point king actually was an NBA guy, for percentage, it was downtown Freddie Brown, which was quite predictable. He, he, we always knew downtown Freddie. As he, he came in with, that's how he got his nickname, right? So he was a born three-point shooter. He led the league at four four three, the leading volume guy, most takes and most makes was an ABA expatriate, Brian Taylor. Two hundred and thirty nine attempts, and he made ninety. That led the league ninety. Steph Curry has taken in 27 games this year 102 more, 134 more shots in 27 games than Brian Taylor took in 80 in 1970. That year, the Atlanta Hawks in the 82-game season were 13 for 75 on threes. <laughs> That's crazy. Now, crazy. four years late, the fourth year of the, of the rule in 83-84, Okay, the same Atlanta Hawks, this time being coached by Mike Fratello, 23 for 105. Steph took 17 himself 
the other night, the night right. before we went to New York. Okay, it was two nights ago. This is how we've come. Teams were didn't know what to do with it. You know, it is. It is. You I mean, it's, the gotten, it's gotten out of control again. Yeah, I, my big thing is it's gotten out of control. Where now everybody's jacking it because of the analytics. Yes, right. right. The well, analytics say he's out there with, with, again, Brad Stevens drove me nuts because everybody could shoot the three. We joked uh, on the pod when we had him on. I asked him, I said, if you had Bob Ryan on your team, would you let him shoot the three? And uh, he didn't really answer the question, Bob. I had, I had three point one hand set range, mostly from the corner. <laughs> I think I think Bob I think Bob would have had the green light under Brad. Oh, there's no question. Bob would have had the green light. But if Mark is smart has the green light, anybody has the green light. Well, they are, they all encourage just the game, you know, right, all the big men are encouraged to you know, yeah, we know that. And so and, and that's I, the part of the game I hate. Get your get your ass down on the block. Um, Bob, do you think the game would be as popular today without it as it is now? If if people didn't yeah, yeah, there's no reason why not. I mean, the game, the, the, all the, the Lakers and the Celtics, the way they ran. He is Harrison Bird have carried the offensive load. Green trying to swing inside. Look at the sneaky Danny Ainge. Come on over there and knock it away. Maxwell, how you run a fast. And the way that the, uh, the way the San Antonio Spurs played in those days, the Denver Nuggets, you know, without the three, and then they were, but uh, of course they would. I, it's just. It's here. Look, I know I'm, excited. I'm not stupid. I understand why you need to add, you need to exploit it. If you, it's here, and three is better than two. And the right, if the right people are taking them, you know, this is the Daryl Morification of basketball. No, we just yeah, and three three is better than two. I understand that. You know, if it didn't exist, it wouldn't be an issue though. You know, but but we need some balance. You know, but does everybody? As just what Jeff just said, does everybody have to take three? The answer is apparently now. You know, all the bigs. We're supposed to take three, stretch four, as now evolved into stretch fives. Yeah. And, you know, I have a question. What would, seriously, what would a team, what would Kevin McHale's role be today? Who Would, well, would someone actually want him? I mean, what would you do it? Now, the funny thing about Kevin, I'm, uh, there was a digression. You know, I don't know if you know this, but I remember this, but he, he had to take a desperation three uh, in a playoff game against the Pistons, and it went in and it won the game or created the overtime and they won the game. Yeah. A light bulb went off in Kevin's head at that time. This is 88. The ball goes off his hands to Kevin McHale, who throws up a three-pointer. The Pistons argued, claiming that McHale's foot was on the line. I think that I was actually worried about how my feet were on that shot. I mean, I'm out there you know, standing in no man's land, getting the ball with with this clock kick taking down. Last thing we'll do is looking down the line saying, gee, should I back up? I mean, you know, that's... Uh, Boy, this is, this is a lot more comfortable than getting my ass kicked in a low post. <laughs> and I'm not kidding either. And if you note, he then started incorporating the three into his game with modest success, nothing great, you know, but he could make an occasional one. And he spent the rest of his career, you know, not as much, not as much time in a low post as he had before. And I'm telling you, if that one shot doesn't go in to, 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 to make him a hero, he, he, he probably would have stayed in the low post the rest of his life. Anyway, it, it, that's a great question you ask, uh, uh, Gary, about would the game be as popular? And I, I don't. It, I, the teams I mentioned, I think, would attract interest just as they did then. Uh, and speaking of the three, we know Danny Ainge loved the three, and we'll get to him. Uh, at yeah. Point. Uh, but I got to tell you. Let me know what y'all think in the comments, man. Yeah, like I said, it's crazy how the game changed, though, you know? It's a lot of threes now. And these just say three is better than two, but it's just like, you know, it's a lot of threes, you know, like just crazy how everything just changed. But I definitely think that they would definitely dominate in today's game. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. But, yeah, I'm out of here, man. On to the next video. Got a lot of videos dropping, man, so... You know how it go. Subscribe if you're new. Hit that like button. Turn on that bell, man. I'm uploading every single day. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. Got some full games coming. Definitely look out. and dropping a lot of videos. Um, like I always say, if you got some videos you want me to do, send them to my email at deathfullyboynot at gmail.com. Or you can leave the links down in the comments. And, uh, yeah, that's about it, man. Shoutouts is definitely coming after this video, so definitely look out for them. But for now, I'm out, y'all. I love y'all. Peace.
Thank you.